All right, this is our classwork solution for drawing 4-2, the uh, grill. So we're going to start by drawing the outside rectangle, which is uh, 5 and a quarter inches by 5 and a quarter inches. So the easiest way to do that is just type our rectangle command 0 comma 0 and then 5.25 comma 5.25. Um, we can also, uh, if you want, go to our snap mode um, and we can turn snap on, make sure our settings are reasonable. Um, and actually for this I'm going to make snap 0.25 so that we can uh, snap to our smallest spacing. So now to make the uh, inside lines of the grill we're going to use the offset command. So with this, the first thing you want to specify is the offset distance, which in this case is going to be 0.25, um, as we can see off the drawing. Um, we're going to specify the object, and then a point in the direction we want to offset. And we can see we have this new inside rectangle that's been offset from the outside. Next up, we're going to draw the square and circle that are going to be patterned. So we don't want to waste time drawing the whole thing, so we're just going to draw one unit and then use a rectangular array. So we'll start with, again, another rectangle. Um, and our first corner is going to be at 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And the second corner is going to be at absolute coordinates 1, 1. Or in this case, since we know that this is a 0 0.5, uh, unit square, we can just go 0.5 units in each direction. Next, we type a circle. So we know from the drawing that the center mark of the circle is 1.5 units over, and it's going to be 0.75 units up from the bottom, and our radius of the circle is going to be the same as the square, or sorry, the diameter of the circle, which you can enter by hitting D, is going to be the same as the square, or 0.5. So we, now we have our pattern unit. So then to create an array, we just type array. We're going to select the objects in our array, choose rectangular array, and we'll drag our mouse up till we get the requisite number of objects, which is six. I'm going to click there. Um, our spacing is going to be, since we have that specified in our drawing, our spacing is going to be 0.75 in between. Now we get this pop-up menu here and we can simply specify the number of columns or we can type columns. Um, and now we know from uh, just by inspection that we want three columns. And you see the default spacing is a little bit too wide, but we know from the drawing that our spacing or the pitch between each column will be 1.5. We type 1.5, click exit, and now we have our pattern. And that's everything.